What's up, growers? Everest here with an update on those YOLO Wondersweet peppers that you saw me start a while back. It's been a challenging few weeks trying to combat very low relative humidity levels in my grow tent, but they seem pretty happy now in their 4-inch Grodin rock wool blocks. I've been hardening them up outside on my sunny terrace now for around 10 days, hand-watering daily with a mild vegetative hydroponic nutrient solution. So today, I'm super excited because it's finally time to transplant my peppers into a hydroponic growing system. I've picked a south-facing wall, and I'm going to use a flow-and-grow 12-pot modular flood and drain system by Titan Controls. First, I need to figure out how I'm going to lay out my pots. Now, the flow-and-grow system is pretty flexible, allowing many different configurations. I'm going for two rows of six pots, right under this trellis here. The spacing is pretty compact as my terrace isn't that big, and I'm going to try and keep the peppers pretty vertical in form. Now, warm nights will definitely help me achieve this and stave off fruit production for a while. I want big plants and lots of peppers. Cool nights, on the other hand, will cause premature fruiting. So keep in mind that outdoor hydroponic peppers is definitely a summer sport. Okay, so here's the system's 55-gallon reservoir. Now, this holds the hydroponic nutrient solution. The reservoir connects to a control bucket called the Oceanus 1 control bucket, which times irrigations, uh, feeds the 12 plant buckets, and then eventually pumps the nutrient solution back into the reservoir. So my pots are laid out like this. My first job is to connect them all together. Fit the supplied tea pieces into each bucket. It helps to use a little cooking oil to loosen those little puppies up. And in she goes. <laughs> nice. Now, notice how I've arranged the pots and tea pieces so that the irrigation tubing will be shaded as much as possible in between the two rows of pots. This is so the nutrient solution doesn't warm up too much in the pipes. Warm nutrients equals oxygen-starved roots. That's a no-no. Next, we'll unwrap the supplied irrigation tubing and uh, connect up the pots. Now, you may find it easier if you tip them on their sides, like this. Um, please ignore that mystery black hair. Definitely not one of mine. Uh, anyway, connect the T pieces together with the irrigation tubing. Here's the three pots connected together. Um, connect up the first row of pots like this. It's simple. Just give them a push and they ease onto the T pieces pretty easily. There. That's one row of six pots connected together. We just need to fit an end stopper at the end of the tube like this, to keep the nutrient solution from um, draining all over my terrace floor. Okay, on to the second roll. Let's roll this on a bit. Now, the second roll of pots is connected up and the end cap is on. See what I mean about keeping the irrigation tubing on the down low? It'll look a lot prettier that way too. Now, our next job is to connect the Oceanus 1 control bucket to the two rows of pots. Cut a little tubing to fit. Now, the control bucket has four outputs, meaning you can extend it if you wish, but for now, we only really need to use two. Um, the other two are plugged with end caps. As I said, all this stuff was supplied with the flow and grow, so you should only have to make one trip to the hydro store. Okay, let's follow the pipe. There's something about following irrigation tubing that really excites me. Yeah. There we go, all the way to the end. I cannot wait to see this running. Next, let's take a quick peek inside the Oceanus 1. Yeah, not much to see in here yet, admittedly, because we need to install the drain pump. Position the pump so that the filter, you know, where it sucks from, is as low down as possible for the best possible drainage. The Flow and Grow comes with two MaxiJet 1200 pumps, one for draining and one for filling. So, cut some tubing to the right length and fit to the nodule by the lid. And plug the pump's electrical plug into the controller. Next, put the other pump in the bottom of the reservoir and connect it to the lid fitting with some more pipe. See, this anti-kinking wrap is a great addition to the system. I like flexible pipe, but this gives me great peace of mind that the system's working as it should. Now, connect the reservoir pump's electrical plug into the Oceanus 1. Now, inside these blue buckets sit these black square net pots, and we're going to fill them with hydrocorn, an awesome, non-restrictive hydroponic growing media from those crazy Dutch guys at Gold Label. So fill the net pots about two inches from the top. Try not to spill it, okay? Then we rinse it through like this to uh, remove any dust particles that formed in the bag during transportation. You know you're done when the water runs off clear at the bottom. These net pots sit snugly on top of the blue buckets like this. So all the net pots are filled and in position. 
Now, the Gold Label dudes recommend soaking their hydrocorn for 24 hours in pH 5.5 water. Personally, I don't think it makes that much of a difference, and the wife would kill me if I filled her bath with hydrocorn. So, I'll just keep an extra close eye on the pH of the nutrient solution to begin with. So, we're nearly there, and while that green hose pipe fills up my reservoir with water, I'll take a moment to dream a little about my YOLO Wonder Sweet Peppers. Hopefully, I can grow them up this trellis higher and higher and higher and, well, <laughs> maybe not that high. Um, come back, camera dude. Lower. Lower. Lower, and you're back on the ground. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so the flow and grow system is all connected up. What's next? Uh, yeah, so we're waiting for the reservoir to fill, and then we can dose it up with hydroponic nutrients. We're using Flora Blend. Now, arguably, this is the world's finest three-part hydroponic nutrient. It's manufactured by General Hydroponics. So, add 50 milliliters of micro, stir. 50 milliliters of grow, stir. And 50 milliliters of bloom, and stir. We're shooting for a mild vegetative nutrient solution. Peppers aren't particularly heavy feeders. Okay, now add dilute pH down adjuster to bring the pH of your nutrient solution to between 6.0 and 6.5, which is perfect for peppers. All right, let's test the system. Set the timer on the Oceanus 1 to come on for one or two irrigations a day, once in the morning and once mid-afternoon. Okay, the Oceanus 1 first switches on the reservoir pump, and then the control bucket starts to fill. Now, I've lifted out the net pot on one of the buckets so that you can see the water begin to flow into the plant sites. For me personally, I find it's easier to transplant the plants once the system is fully flooded. Oh, which reminds me, let's bring in the stars of the show. The Yolo Wonder Sweet Peppers. Yeah! Okay, so yeah, these aren't the finest looking specimens I've ever grown, you know. A little low humidity stress took its toll early on, and, um, you know, then the nutrients got a little concentrated in the blocks as a result, so... Yeah, just look at that leathery foliage. Uh, any pepper pros out there, please tell me where else I might have gone wrong. Don't hold back, I can take it. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Back to the flow and grow. Now, the Oceanus 1 control bucket's still filling, so let's take a look inside one of the buckets. Yeah, they're filling up nicely too. All right, awesome. Now, when the system's full, a float valve triggers and uh, the drain pump sends all the nutrient solution back into the reservoir. All right, let's get these young YOLOs into their fine new homes. So as you can see, we have roots coming out of the bottom. Not as many as I'd like, but you know, we're just about good to go. Shove them in. Don't worry about completely burying the block. A little air around the top, it isn't a bad thing. The commercial growers say that ideally, you should propagate in the same media that you're going to grow in. But I found these Grodin Rockwell blocks were great in any hydro system. Top up around the blocks with any spare washed hydrocorn, and there you have it. One planted out, flow and grow, flood and drain, hydroponic system. Just for Growers is a place for all types of growers to interact. So make sure you post your comments and questions at justforgrowers.com. You'll find tons more videos and articles there too.